Hello, I'm Nick Fenimore. I'm the Cathedral Chaplain and also a Chaplain in the National Health Service. Over these last few weeks and months, I've had numerous conversations with all sorts of people, both NHS staff and people, uh, patients in our hospitals, either face to face and sometimes wearing PPE, but also on iPads and various other uh, media that we use today. And uh, I've also uh, spoken to many, many people on the telephone. And it's been interesting because they've been reflecting about what it's been like to be in lockdown. And some of them have been reflecting on their lives. And one of the things that I've actually noticed is that a common theme or thread that runs through some of these conversations is that people are feeling that they have certain regrets and they're looking at the possibility of how to put things right. Now, let me tell you a story about Edna. Edna is uh, was a lady I visited uh, before lockdown started. She was in hospital and I noticed that she actually had a brand new teddy bear on her bed and I couldn't help but to remark about this. And she told me her story, the story of when she was very young she had a brother who was six years older than her and he did horrible things. He used to tease her and did horrible things to this teddy bear to the extent that it ended up in the dustbin never to be seen again. Sixty years later she found herself seriously ill in hospital and her brother came to visit carrying a package and as soon as she saw this package and felt it she knew exactly what it was. Yeah, it was the teddy bear. And on one level, this was a light-hearted gesture to actually cheer her up. But at a deeper level, it was an outward sign of a desire to put things right. Now, many of us, as we get older, feel the need to heal perhaps past hurts. And some of the major events in our lives concentrate our minds very much. And in doing that, that can push us into action. Let us pray. Lord, help us to forgive ourselves for moments we can't forget. Deeds we can never undo, words we can never take back things we bitterly regret. And as we look back in sorrow, help us to look forward in joy, knowing that wrongs can be righted and pain can be healed. In your name and for your sake. Amen.